Good morning, guys. Seven o'clock. I'm back on the AT. The campsite was about 0.3 miles that way. Ah, my right knee is sore. It was all the downhill yesterday. I got my brace on, of course, but it's going to be a slow morning. I'm hoping to figure out how to get into Buena Vista, but I didn't have cell phone service to call and see if anything was available or to book a shuttle. And I don't know if I will either. So, we'll see how that goes. There's the bridge. Suspension bridge. When you walk on these things, they sway. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Walking by the river again. Here's the trail. There's a water crossing. And it rained last night, so they're wet. Here we go, wish me luck. I made it across. I realized I had forgot to mention that it did thunderstorm last night, but the rain wasn't heavy enough to put any splash back into my tent. It was just a little muddy on the outside this morning. Not bad. It was still really humid and hot. Didn't sleep well. Still sticky and stuff. I feel like I need a bath. I'm hoping to get off at US Route 60 in four miles to get a shuttle into Lexington. Oh, Buena Vista. I was trying to remember the names. However, I've checked every 15 minutes. I still haven't had cell phone service to even call a shuttle or book a room anywhere. And I'm not going in any high elevation. I'm just in valleys, I guess. So I don't know how this is going to work. I know the comments said nobody was having any luck getting hitch hitching a ride. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point. All right, looks like I got a very large water crossing. Oh no, <laughs> water crossings. Oh goodness. All right, wish me luck. I made it across. One of the rocks was very slippery, but thank goodness for trekking poles, man. I don't know how people do it without trekking poles. They're lifesavers. Let's see if I can reach it. This bump. Still walking by some, some streams and stuff. You see the sun shining through the trees. The trail is easy today. Not steep up or down, it's just very gradual. My knees feeling better than it was this morning. Definitely a million times better than it was yesterday by the end of the day. Hey, I found the entrance to Brown Mountain Creek Shelter. Um, and it says there's a privy, so I think I'm gonna go use it. Here's Brown Mountain Shelter. All of these shelters, it seems, well, the last several days look exactly the same. I did not see a privy though, or even a blue blaze trail that goes to one. Um, so I just dug a cat hole, which meant going up that hill, 200 feet away from that water. You gotta love it. Um, yeah. Unless it's just hiding back there somewhere in the forest, but usually there's a blue blaze or a clear path, and I didn't see it. All right, anyway, I don't know how much further I have to go to get to that crossing, but I still don't have cell phone service. I'm not sure what to do if I don't get cell phone service. I can't, I mean, I have another evening's worth of food, but that's it. Um, yeah, doing it's hard, not terrain wise. I mean, it, that's hard too, but there's no cell phone service in this state. I don't know how people get by. <laughs> All right, there's the trail again. That's where I got off. There's remnants of I don't know, maybe an old building or something. A couple of stone structures? But far out doesn't say what they are. And it doesn't look like the trail goes around them, unless there's another place across this river. Anyway, pretty cool. Oh, I think one of them might be hurt. Butterflies. Oh, 
moved, so I guess he's not hurt. I'm not sure what's going on. Where's the other one? Oh, where'd you go, little bit? There you are. Where'd the other one go then? Little bench over here. And there's another one. Maybe that's a moth. Alright, I'm looking to go away. You can have the path. You eat your food. Okay, don't know where the other one went. There's the trail. I'm about 1.2 miles away from US 60. Still no cell phone service. Another one of those little guys. They're so precious. Oh my gosh, I want one. They're so cute. You guys, that's a baby turtle. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, look how little he is compared to my fingers. Oh, he's so precious. I just want to pick him up and take him to Maine with me. He's so cute. Alright, have a great day, little turtle. Take care of yourself. And I want a turtle. And a gecko or a lizard or salamander or whatever those things are. And a snake and a frog. <sighs> yeah. My daughter likes reptiles too. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm probably a quarter mile to US 60, still in cell phone service. But it's uphill, so my knees are fine. Hey guys, it's 12.30. I got into US 60, I think it was, that, that road, and immediately got a hitch. Like, didn't have cell phone service, and just immediately got a hitch. The guy, it was a guy, he had a dog. Um, seemed sincere, didn't give me any creepy vibes. But I did have my Garmin, a GPS, so it was on, just in case. Um, he was going to Food Line in Buena Vista anyway, so he gave me a ride and was kind enough to wait for me to go shopping and then drop me off here at the Budget Inn. So I checked in. Here's what I got for lunch. Um, naked juice. Yesterday I was craving grapes, so I got some of those. Chips and queso. <laughs> so healthy, I know. And a Gatorade. And I have bananas and stuff for later too. Um, so I'm here cooling off. My right knee is sore, so I'm going to ice it. Um, I just went to check and there was no ice. Oh, sorry. The guy who works here, he locks up when he goes and cleans room, so he had the thing locked, I couldn't get any ice, but I'll get some in a little bit. I got stuff, quarters and soap for laundry. This place has a refrigerator, microwave. Um, yeah, not bad. I have Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna download some videos. I hope you're all doing very well. I forgot that I bought some black beans for my chips and queso, so um, I'll eat that in a little bit. I already ate some chips and queso, but I'll eat some more here soon. There's a thunderstorm warning and the satellite is out. Like I just heard some heavy rain and stuff, so I went to check the TV and it's not working. So I guess I picked a good day to come into town.